The doom cycle is almost complete. As the third phase commences, age-old questions about the universe must be answered. Can the urn be resealed? Are Laurie and Ari endgame? Or will Laurie's ambitious games end the world instead? And do we truly live but by the whim of Kevin the Great and Terrible? Well, I don't know about that last one. But I do know that they want you to donate to Winter Comfort. Go on, click the link in the description. It is decreed in prophecy. Besides, time is running out. For all of us. Well, that's all for now on the mysterious blizzards of frozen tuna devastating the Sahara this holiday season. This just in, breaking news on an outrageous art heist that has rocked the world. Following the daring theft of a priceless artifact from the Grand National Museum, a violent incident at the Library of Alexandria has at last put the authorities one step closer to identifying the culprits. Whilst their identities remain unclear, Interpol has now published rough physical profiles of the subjects who are believed to be heading for the America- Oh, Ari. Arizona James. Arizona Magdalena James. I am so, so proud of you. I'll admit, this isn't the way I'd have advised you to go about art reclamation. But then again, when I was your age- No, Aunt Z, you've got it Is twist. now really the time to disillusion your lovely aunt? She's happy as she is. Don't let's rock the boat. Or indeed, the four-wheel drive. You're really all quite lucky that news report didn't come in till after you were through customs. That's searching everywhere for you now since that business in Egypt. <laughs> I'm afraid I must take responsibility there, Dr. James. I was too careless taking your niece in there without properly scouting the location for opposition, surveillance and so forth. You've been out of the game for a while, Dr. Storm. It's only natural to be a little rusty. But you must be more careful from here on out, especially now that they know what you look like. That reminds me, take this. You'll need to disguise yourselves if you want to make it all the way to San Genesia from Lima. Are these ponchos? And hair pieces. I've always wondered how it'd look with an buffy, um, a moustache. So, Dr. Z, Dr. Storm, do you two know each other, or what? <laughs> well, that's a question. Uh, we were competition for a time. Danny, was it? Well, Danny. Vivian and I were once opponents in this work for the past you have stumbled on. I was a student activist when we met, whereas- Whereas I was working digs for the Grand National, which was fair enough when we were digging in the fens of East Anglia, but when it came to Egypt, America, China- We had a few bonds to pick. <laughs> and then some. But there's a funny thing about field work. The long hours, the thrill of discovery, the occasional death by booby trap or divine intervention or ancient curse. The usual. It's no wonder we found common ground. <laughs> hey, Mind you, it didn't hurt that you offered Ari that high school scholarship. Did I ever thank you properly? As I believe I said at the time, it barely begins to atone for my sins. Mm. And as I believe I've said more than once, we could do with more people with your clout atoning to the tune of grassroots indigenous heritage preservation. You see, guys, the logistical side of... I do believe we've brought them to sleep. I wish I could say it was the first time. Poor Ari, I dragged her to so many lectures after her barns burst. You've been an impeccable guardian to Ari, Z. You should give yourself more credit. And you should get yourself some more sleep. We'll be driving for a good few days, and I'll need someone else to take over in a few hours. Svidatevi! Rise and shine, my friends! We're here! Oh, seems about right. Welcome to Lima, guys. Gosh, I haven't been here since grad school. You reckon you're still on the blacklist at that nightclub? What was it? The Scarlet McCall? Hey, that was your fault! You were 15 years my senior, you should have known better than to give me those balloons after a third round of Pisco. So can we get going now? Wait, what did you do with the balloons? I'm not listening! A, a, a story for another time, Danny. You're right, Ari, we best get a move on. Our next stop should be... 
the pass of San Cristobal, a few hours northeast of here, on foot. Ooh, fresh fruit! Oh, this smells amazing! Danny, that's the fifth stall you've stopped at so far. We're not on holiday. Ah, yes, Lakuma, the national fruit of Peru, also known as the last gold of the Incas. Take it easy, Naya. A minute more won't make a difference. Besides, it doesn't look like word of our misadventures has reached this far. Look, there's a bull cart with homegrown pineapples. You wouldn't see that back in London. You mean that one? With all the Stormtrooper cosplayers next to it? Over there, the misfits. Get them, men. Okay, not cosplayers. Care to reroute your tourist trail, Takumi? Let's not be too hasty to lay blame. Hang on, I've got an idea. This is not the time to be adding to your rock collection. <laughs> My clients will do it. Damn, right in the eyes, too. Is it bad that this makes me want a piña colada? Stop! Anyway, come on, kid, let's pelt it! <sighs> that was close. Too close, Amici. It's clear we're too recognizable together. We'll have to split up, just like the old days in Sicilia. We'll never reach your San Cristobal otherwise. He's right. Even with the disguises, as I group, we do stand out. You think? I really don't know that I'm selling this goateed look. Benny, then we are in agreement. Dr. Stone, I'm entrusting Danny to you. Take the back streets. Takumi Naya, if anyone asks, you're on honeymoon. Take the Costa Road. Harry, now! Harry, do you think you could make it down the main route to the pass salon with the urn? After this week? I think I can handle it. Perfetto. That just leaves Dr. James and myself. Sayanya, please. And how will we get into the pass? Why? From roof to roof. I'm afraid you have to trust me, signora. And why should I do that? You dragged my niece into this house, after all, signore. Emilio, please. Well, Emilio, trust be dumped. Raise you there. <laughs> Well, that happened. Arizona! Laurie! What... what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just... on a business trip, remember? Why? I guess these weird weather fronts messed up your connections too. Uh, mind if I walk with you for a bit? There's something I meant to tell you back on the plane, if you've got time. For you, always. Let's walk. Quick, Danny, over here. Oh, I, I, I think we finally lost them. Best I keep an eye out for us all the same. I don't need looking after. I'm an adult. No one's questioning that, Danny. Then how come I'm being chaperoned by a teacher? For the last time, I am not a chaperone. And as a teacher, I must say I've been delighted to share in your company through these many perils. What do you mean? You have a curious mind, Danny. I know your proclivities lie with things mechanical, picking locks and rigging alarms and overturning pineapple carts, but I truly believe you could turn your hand to almost anything. Oh. My teachers always just said I was unfocused, lazy. What did your parents say to that? Not much, at the time. They seemed kind of disappointed that I didn't apply to uni, though. I just didn't want to spend another three years of people talking down to me. But I don't want to let my parents down either. It's not that I don't want to do something with my life. It's just... I see. You know, Danny, there's more than one way to start a career. You have a lot of energy, for sure, and a lot of talent. Your geological samples, your rock collection, that is, is a testament to that impeccable labelling. I've never seen the like. Now I know you're pulling my leg. No, Danny, I'm not. You see the magic in everything, and you're drawn to understand it. Now, that is the making of true brilliance. For any teacher worth their salt, you are a joy to teach. At least, you are to me. Oh, that's... 
That's really nice of you. Thanks. You're entirely welcome. Still doesn't explain why Ari gets to go off on her own, and I don't, though. (laughs) Dear Zeus, you're impossible. Ari is older than you. She knows which way the wind blows. Oh, so you trust her not to do anything dumb? Absolutely. Spread out, men. They were spotted on the coast of Rote not ten minutes ago. Here, Takumi. I'll help you down. Gods, I hate heights, though. Well, the beach holidays go. It's a nice day for it. How do you do that? Do what? Say things. You always seem to know what to say. I don't get it. There'll be this awkward pause in conversation, and you just instantly know how to fill it. Someone will be down, and you'll know how to cheer them up. Someone will start off as your enemy and wind up as your best friend. What gives? I've never really thought about it much. I suppose I just have a knack for reading people. It's not as impressive as it seems. True. Nothing like as hard as math or code or things that programmers do. Oh, there you go again with the charming modesty. And knowing my way around a computer is all well and good, but what use is it if I can't talk my way out of a paper bag? I just thought that the one upside of being an outlaw now might be that I'd finally feel... cool? You know? Not really. I've always been popular. Seriously! When am I ever serious? Naya, there's nothing weird about wanting to be cool. And even if there were, so what? Why do you think I pursue this farcically forthright life of petty crime? It's certainly not for the health benefits. I wouldn't call swindling half the jewellery stores in London petty. Well, it's their own fault that they can't tell pace from the genuine article. Look, Naya, my point is, I'm not any more or less cool than you. We all want to be taken seriously. The only difference between me and you is that I'm foolish enough to take myself seriously. Well, that and you're at least ten times smarter than me. <laughs> only ten? That's a conservative estimate. And as for being bad with people, I'm afraid I have to disagree. I heard what you said to Ari, that night at my sister's place. I couldn't cheer her up earlier. But you did. You were a friend to her. And she's been a friend to you. And if you've got room for one more friendship, I'd be honored. Ah! I've got you. You don't need to bow, idiot. Ah, now there's the Naya we know and love. Sure. Give me a lift to that next handhold, would you? Maybe it'll all end well after all. you do it. Oh. Only because you cheated, Stelina. I did not. Oh, and I suppose I kicked myself off the last gable. Oh, please, you didn't even hurt yourself. You landed nice and soft in that haystack. I aimed very carefully. She, she, she admits it. Uh, hi, guys. Ah, yes. Hello, everyone. Let's see. Vivian, Danny, Takumi, and Naya. Hasn't Ari arrived yet? I think that's her coming down the main road now. Excellent. Well, you guys start clambering up, and Emilio, um, Signor Auditore, that is, and I will wait up for Arizona. Be careful, everyone! The geological formations in this area are none too stable. Oh, now she tells us. Well, that would explain all the signs saying, Danger! Do not climb! Madre de Dio! It can't be! What's wrong? There is someone with Arizona. What? Why? Who? There is someone with Arizona. I don't know why. And there a person who is very bad news. Ari, run! Who? My friends are waving at us. Maybe we should go over and say hi. I'd love to meet them. Um, any other time I'd love to. But my friends, uh, uh that is, this is really a, a family event. Oh. Well, maybe your uncle wants something. I noticed that's a heavy bag you've got there. Maybe you're carrying the sunscreen or the water bottles or something else. Vessel-like. But all I've got in there is some of those ghastly green energy drinks. Oh, and the urn. Wait, what? What is wrong with you? It's Mm. nothing personal. I said, there's the person who paid me to steal the urn. Hang on, you were paid to steal the urn? no time to explain. Ari's on the move, keep climbing. Ari, come on, get over here. Almost there, just a few more. Let go! You let go! No, you! No, you! What the? 
Who wakes me from my slumber this bloody time? You got so healthy! Ari, quick, take my hand! Kevin, stop! Ari, are you alright? I'm fine, but Lori took the lid, and now that rock fall, and all I've got is an empty gun. <laughs> oh, sorry about. <clears throat> I mean, sorry about that, guys. I think the meltdowns are getting harder soon. <laughs> Now I am not finished! I expect answers! Well, Dr. James, I think there's been a misunder- Not from you! Emilio! Y yes This Lori, y you said they paid you to steal the artifact? Uh, yes So you didn't intend to repatriate this arm when you stole it? Not exactly, no. And you did, in fact, get several members of a San Genesian repatriation organization into trouble with the police? and leave several others injured? People who actually care about ethical antiquities? It was my bad, auntie, but in fairness... So you are, in fact, nothing but a bunch of no-good low-down thieves? Oh, really, Z? You're confronted by an ancient bird god who could destroy the known universe and that's your main priority. Get, Get me out, out of this. this! I will not be lectured by you, Vivian Storm. The world wouldn't be in danger in the first place if the likes of you had just left this arm in San Genesia in the first place! As for you, Arizona Magdalena James. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? I'm sorry, Aunt Z. I, I needed the money. I was tired and angry and I, I made a bad decision. Um, while we're being honest and all, is this the time to mention that I borrowed a couple of those canopic jars I was juggling? The ones that didn't smash, I mean. I thought Kevin might like the one with the bird head. And here was me thinking I had only one child to look after. Now it seems like I've got half a dozen! <sighs> Ari, when you were still a child, I would have told you that one bad decision wasn't the end of the world. But this time, it really could be, couldn't it? Sorry about that. Actually, out of all of us here, Kevin, you're the only one not at fault. And thanks to you, that includes me. I guess I shouldn't have been so quick to jump on board with you guys just because I thought your means justified what I thought your ends had been. <sighs> this is all such a mess. Well, if I may suggest, let's not start pointing fingers. It reminds me too much of my donor's house. But more importantly, we haven't the time. But what else can we do? Laurie's got the lid. There's no way to seal the urn now. Ari, I don't know for sure what they want with the urn, except perhaps a kind of the proceeds since they approached me to steal it in the first place. But it's a fair bet that they didn't just want the lid. And since Kevin didn't see Laurie or the lid, on the other side of the rubble, they'll likely try to follow us. Er, uh, assuming they won't crash to death. Don't remind me. Oh. What does that mean for us? It means we keep going. That's what you're getting at, senor, no? Exactly. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. Our best hope is still to get to the temple the Tor Storm read about in the library. With any luck, something, or someone, they will tell us how to neutralize Kevin's wrath. And Lori? If Lori leaves, uh, they'll be on our trail, along with the lead. So, if they want the urn, they'll want to find us. And when they do, there'll be a reckoning. And if they're dead? Cross that bridge when we come to it, Ari. Speaking of which, since we are starting to make tracks, how were we planning to cross that ravine? What ravine? The one you're standing on the edge of. Bad vibes, passive aggression, thinly veiled death threats. This is a family holiday. Phew. I don't think I've worked that hard since... ever. Tell me about it. Oh, what are you talking about, Signor Iskander? 
It's bracing to stretch the legs. And yet the rest of us are up here waiting for you free. Just providing moral support to the stragglers. Hey guys, I think I found something. It's a cross? That's a bit cliche. In reality, I'm afraid X never marks the spot. Best we keep to the map. What's the compass saying? Actually, that's what we found curious. Show them, Danny. Look, the compass is going bananas. There must be strong magnetic fields around here or something. I check Phoenix's tapes on the Walkman, and they're totally demagnetised. We can't orient ourselves from here. So what? The cross is some kind of warning? Abandon hope, all ye who enter here, lest your compasses go totally doolally. I was saying to Danny, looks like we've got no choice but to go back. It's worse than that, I'm afraid. Without a working compass in the cloud forest, we don't have any choice. We're not going anywhere. She's right. Oh, there's no knowing when the mist will clear enough to chart our route by the skies. Oh... I should have known better. This isn't my first time in these mountains. There are no death trap. I I failed you all. It's not my first time either, Viv. If this is your fault, it's mine too. If it wasn't for me, though, this could have all ended in London. Uh, guys? If it weren't for you, the whole world would have ended in London. Don't get me wrong, I haven't given up trying to channel your guilt into some real activism. Noted. But it's good to be in the field with you again. Even if it's for the last time. That's more than I deserve, see? So, as I was saying to Danny, it looks like... Oh, Reef, I don't really want to die, Matt. Bring it in, huh? I forgive you. All of you. But, if by some miracle we do get out of here alive, let's be honest with each other from now on, okay? I promise, Auntie. (gasps) Well, I'm glad everyone's hunky-dory for now. But if I could tear your plucking fingers away from your heartstrings for just a minute... What's up, Naya? Well, Danny pointed out something about this cross. Or X, or whatever. It's not a natural formation. For one thing, the arms are all of equal length. And for another, the shape is too clean. Just look at the interior surface. It's clearly tool-worked, under the freeze-thaw weathering. We'll have to take your word on that one, Piccolino. Yes, well, that got me thinking. When is a cross not a cross? You've lost me. A carved shape isn't just a shape. It's information. It's there for a reason. Tomb Raiding 101. So, I figured, if I were an Incan civilization, living in the middle of the cloud forest, close to a weirdly magnetised rock, the information that I would want to know most is... The points of a compass! It's a Chicana! An Incan cross! Oh, like, it's an actual history thing? You learn something new every day. So when is a cross not a cross? When it's, when it's a, a compass. compass! It's quiet in here. Too quiet. Does one of you guys want to knock, or shall I? Okay, I'll do it! Huh. Uh, I was expecting... tripwires? Or... A- Giant swinging axes or something. Well, Kevin, welcome home. Hey, what's this? Oh, let, let's see. Looks like a woodcut, a later copy of some ritual carving, and there's a translated inscription. Enter ye into this temple, but let the unfaithful beware. Render unto the gods your greatest gifts, lest ye be smited by the one who glitters, for they who snore a lot. Hey, Kevin, that sounds like you. Always nice to see fan art. Really makes you feel appreciated. Dr. Storm, is there anything there about how to put Kevin back to sleeping a snoring for good? It's harder and harder to put them back to bed nowadays. And the less they sleep, the angrier they get. I'm not tired! Now you know what parenting is like. Hang on, let me just... Here we go. Return them to their rightful place, else you shall not live to see the sun for verily. They do have the biggest... uh, Cucumber? That can't be right. 
do cucumbers have some religious significance in the Americas, Z? Beef, they're not talking about literal cucumbers. Oh? Oh! Well, good to know Kevin's keeping his back around. Perfect. Trust us to wind up babysitting the god of destruction and horniness. Well, I'm always happy for someone to destroy my- Anyway, moving right along. Wait, did anyone else hear that? Everyone, behind that curtain, now! It's kind of cramped in here. Shh! Uh, Dr. Storm, what does that sign up there say? Hmm? Oh, that's a more modern form of the dialect. Let me see. Ah, yes, translating. It reads, <coughs> Toilets this way! <laughs> Quiet, Danny! Too late. What are you doing here? He speaks English! Ah, oh, look, th there seems to be some misunderstanding. You cannot be here! This is a clear violation! Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I, I think there's a mistake. The only mistake is yours. I must see to it that it is your last! Leon! <coughs> do you have it? Yes, Diego. Here. What, what are you going to do with us? Remove you! <gasps> you leave me no choice. See here, it clearly states that the youth club has use of the temple on Tuesdays. Pensioners Bingo has been moved back to Thursdays. You will have to bring your grandmother back then. How dare you! Wait, wait, wait. You're not going to take us prisoner and kill us horribly by some arcane method of removing our internal organs or something involving spikes or snakes or improbably large boulders. What? No, of course not. What's wrong with you? This temple is a community facility. Everyone is welcome. Wait, is that what you were hiding in the cleaning cupboard? So that's what that bleachy smile was. Oh, right, right, so everything is resolved. No one's killing anyone. No, are we done? And am I home yet? <gasps> what the hell is that? Oh, uh, that's, I mean, they are Kevin. It's kind of a long story. I'm way too sober for this shit. Okay, okay, it's okay. We've got the room book till eight, so please, explain. So, let me get this straight. You are amateur international art thieves who accidentally unleashed an ancient evil, uh, no offense Kevin, started a free-for-all brawl in the Library of Alexandria, triggered an avalanche in the capital city of Peru, and now you're expecting me and my friends to help you prevent the end of the world, which is only happening because of you in the first place? Yes, that's it exactly. May I say? You are marvelously quick on the uptake. I can't believe I need to say this, but, uh... No one worships bird gods around here anymore. I don't have any more idea how to seal that oversized jam jar than you do, but... Yes? That picture your Dr. Storm is holding, it looks like a copy of a frieze near the village right on the cliffside. I can give you a lift there, my jeep's just... You have a jeep? Can I drive? Um... Am I going to regret this? So, uh, you said you're studying psychology? I'm on vacation right now, but yeah, I'm specialising in criminal psych next year. Uh, I don't think anything I've studied so far covers this situation, if that helps. It doesn't. But we appreciate the effort. I don't see how we are going to neutralize Kevin if no one else remembers they exist. Well, maybe someone will remember something. That woodcut still in the temple. There must be some local legends or something about it. Arizona's right, Signor. I, I took a copy of the inscription as well. G give me a moment. Return them to their rightful place. That's it! There must be some special offering ceremony or something to return Kevin to the sealed sanctity of the urn. Well and good, but that's not much help when we've only got half an hour. What are we going to do about the missing lead? I'm so sorry, Auntie. 
I'm really. What was that? Mierda! We're free really! Look out for the cliff! Take my hand, Danny. On second thoughts. I've got you! Takumi, hold on! Oh, I'm slipping! We'll help anchor you! Z Diego, Dr. Storm! We need to form a chain! Sorry I'm late. Laurie. Nice ride you've got there. Shame about the rider. Nice GPS tag I pinned on your bag there. Shame about you trying to kill me. <gasps> that wasn't my fault. Kevin just had a bit of a moment. Oh, that feathery freak has a name. Wonderful. Look, Ari, just give me the urn. Last chance. I, I can't do that. Please, Laurie, just just give us the lid and we'll seal Kevin away and then it's yours. You can sell it or keep it or... You think I want that wretched pot for myself? After all it's put me through, I need that pot. I need to give it back to the Grand National, back to that damnable Professor Caldwell. Wait, I need... You work for the Grand National? But that means you set us up all along. You meant for this heist to fail. You, you neoliberal individualist. Oh, please. You work for a failing antique shop run by a small pine crook. You'll want to talk. I'm sorry, Arizona James, but the time for talking is over. Any last words? Laurie, I... I... Ow! What? Harry, catch! I don't know how the sword fight. Do you at least know how to die? Lucky for you, I picked this up back at the temple. Uh, you know what? I already gave you your second chance. Screw you. Oh, I'd like to see you try. Okay, I'm flat against the cliff face, and even I can see the sexual tension. Showing off, are we? You know, some of us couldn't afford private French tuition. Or fencing lessons, evidently. Oh. What the? Ready to give up yet? Oh, I'm just getting started. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> One, two, everyone. Uno, two, three. you don't believe in ancient bird gods. But that sword, it's splintered. You know, you may have studied advanced French and fencing and flower arranging too for all I care, but I went to grammar school. At a girl. Um, was, is, is that supposed to be cool? And if there's one thing I know from Dr. Storm's lessons, it's what a real sword feels like when it hits you in the shoulder. Ah, yes. Form 4B. Those were the days. Mix Lori, I did try to tell you. Those swords in the storeroom are for the children's nativity place. Well, this is embarrassing. What, what are you going to do with me? We have a bigger problem on our hands right now, my friends. All that adrenaline may have been a bit much for Kevin. That's not your bag! What are you? Five? Give it back! Now who's five? Shan't!
terra felices. Onanenses o asipideas genionus omenos de figata. Feroes da pereisia poema. Stemma de homens de polva onlonos. Arizona. The end of the world, you weapon grade spatula. Don't you have years? And to think back in college, I was the one copying your lecture notes. But that means Dr. Storm's lecture, it, it was all true. Is that why she's here too? Oh, well done, genius. Top of the class. Now, if you want some extra credit, help me with this damn free. Maybe there was something missing from the translation. Something that will tell us about the offering ceremony. We need to know what it is we have to return to Kevin now that they're home. I will have my revenge for you failed in the return and so my wrath returns. Okay, okay Kevin, we get the message. Let's see. Classical Incan freeze, late 15th century BCE. Then it starts like the woodcut did. Enter ye into this, uh, unto this. Temple, unto this temple. Oh, so now you're being all helpful. Oh, so now you wish you'd paid attention in our ancient linguistics module. Shut up and read, would you, Margulis? This is all your fault, after all. Touché. For I am the Alpha and the Omega, the Moon. The Coco and the Nut! I... I'm sorry, Ari. I, I never meant for this to happen. Like that fixes anything, Laurie. Right. Right. So, from the beginning. <clears throat> Enter ye into this temple, but let the unfaithful beware. Render unto the gods your greatest... gifts? Blood? Chocolate? It could be all three. Ah! Lest you be smitten with, uh, smited by the one who glitters, or, or, or possibly sheds, depending on usage. The aim cause the world to shudder. Okay, 
They who snores a lot. This sounds idiomatic, actually. So far, so much like the woodcut. Is there anything on ceremonial offering? Doing my best. Return to them, them to their, their rightful place, else you shall not live to see the sun morning, for verily they do have the biggest of all the bananas. The woodcut translated it as cucumber. Every culture has its aubergine emoji. So, what now? Return to them their rightful place? What do we need to return to, uh, Kevin? Whoever in the storm beneath my wings and despair, you will never see your homes again! Return to Kevin, or return Kevin to? Wait, what if we don't need to offer them anything? What if... What if we didn't need to take them home and return something to them? What if all we had to do was return them to their home? Auntie! Auntie! Where are you? Harry, listen. If the woodcut was wrong, if what we actually have to do is return Kevin to their home, then why is the world still ending? This is where the urn is from. This is Kevin's home. There is no mercy for those who showed me none. You failed to return, and so I return. No. Laurie, maybe your home is where you're from. Maybe you grew up on the same suburban street from the day you were born. I was five when I moved to NYC. I was ten when my parents passed. So no, your home isn't where you're from. It's not even where you live. Your home is where your heart is. Kevin, that's it, isn't it? We needed to take you home, but we never asked where your home is. Well, I'm asking now. Kevin, let us take you home. Why, why isn't it working? Why, Laurie, why isn't it working? Oh, Arizona, I, I'm sorry, but maybe Kevin can't hear you now. Sometimes people just aren't ready to listen. I should know. Oh, Harry, I wish I'd never started this. I should have stayed making coffee for boring old men who hold looted paintings. That's all my ambition gets me. It's still more than I deserve. I certainly never deserved you. You never in a million years deserved all this. And I know it's too late for me to fix things. God, it's too late for all of us, but... Harry, if this really is the end, there's something I need to tell you. I... If it's the last thing I do, I need you to know I... Oh, I'm bad at this. Wait. Please, just let me show you. Here. My... My portrait. You kept it? That day, you didn't even stop for your revision notes. How do you still have this? Sometimes, a lot of the time, I think I forget what really matters. I love archaeology, but I don't love what I have to do to get a foothold in it. Your portrait, it reminds me that there's more to life. It reminds me of a woman who followed her dreams and was true to her heart. I should never have scoffed at your passions. And I know I'm past redemption, but I also know that the dreamer still lives in you. Harry, if by some miracle you get out of here alive, promise me you'll live your dream, follow your heart, and it will guide you home. Oh, gods. Uh, that was corny. <laughs> uh, no, Laurie. It's... Harry! Arizona James! I love... <coughs> Laurie! No! Your petty wrath will be your undoing! I am the beginning and the end! The greatest terror and the biggest kill Oh, shut not. up, would you? Just... I'm coming for you guys! Hold on! Oh! Fire! Green fire! I wonder... 
going to find Vivian. I heard her voice just before the fire started. Emilio, look after the kid! Buona partone, bellissima! Danny, take my hand. We mustn't lose each other in the storm. It's alright. I've got you. That last gust of wind was a monster. Takumi, I... I never thought I'd die side by side with... a car salesman. How about side by side with a fellow token nerd? Uh, I'd really rather do a Lord of the Rings marathon with you. But thanks. Here at the end of all things. I will scorch my name into the earth, so all shall know me! We do know you. We even know your name. Kevin. You spelt it out for us, remember? Back at Naya's flat. In blazing green fire. Ari! I appreciate the support, Ari, but I'm honestly prepared to let the property damage slide. Pathetic mortal! You know not what you... I know enough. I know enough to know that this isn't you. Not really. And I know that we didn't listen to you. We dragged you round the world in a duffel bag without ever asking what you wanted. And I know that it's pretty rich of me to stand here now asking you to listen to me. And I know all these things then, thanks to someone who finally did listen, perhaps too late, that I don't need some offering to save the world. But I'd like to offer you something just the same. Here goes nothing. Green Parrot, it gives you limbs. Now that's what I call celebrity endorsement. Kevin, this isn't your home, is it? No. Well, if you put an end to the storm, we'll take you wherever home is. Wherever you want to go. I, I, I'm the eternal flame. Destroy, Destroy our world, yes, I know. But ever since that night at Naya's place, you've been more than that. You've been our friend. And if you can't find home here, then maybe you could try to find it with us. My... I am... I can try. See, you're alive. We all are. A little was for where, mind you. But enough. You did it, Loifimos. We did it. To think that the difference between life and death was a translation error. Like I always said, linguistics saves lives. Danny, did I hear right? Is Kevin coming home with us? Uh, actually, where even is home for you guys? Well, Arizona and I can't exactly return to the antique shop. Not after all that business with Takumi's car. Yeah, Auntie, is it okay if I stay with you for a while? Sure thing, sweetheart. Yes, fine. Emilia can come to you. Well, I doubt I still have a home. Not if my landlord's seen what happened to the living room wall. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. You know, I have actually been thinking of quitting teaching and doing some field work. Though obviously I'd need an assistant or two, and I don't know yet where I'd be based. For real? Then I could tell my parents I'm moving out. They'll be so proud. Naya, we're going on an adventure! Another one? So soon? (laughs) (laughs) Well, personally, I've just always been a free spirit. Who knows where home will be next? Although, I hear New Mexico is nice. Weren't you saying so, Dr. James? Okay, okay, I get the message. Just as well I left my minivan in the long stay car park back in Lima. Come on, guys, let's head. Wait! Where's... Where's Lori? <laughs> Would you look at that? Stick up a tree, are we? Serves you right for being so catty. Ooh, I vote we leaf them here. Um... A little help? Please? Anyone? You started this. You almost brought about the end of the world. You attacked my niece. I 
I know. I'm sorry. I'll go somewhere. Just help me down and I'll be on my way. You'll never have to see me again, I swear. Sorry, I'm more of a dog person. Hey, I wonder how Milo's doing. Hold up! Ari, they set us up. None of this would have happened without them. Exactly! We'd never have met Takumi, or Naya, or Danny, or Kevin. And we'd never have solved the mystery of Kevin's real home. Besides, earlier when I thought, uh, when you almost, uh, when we were... Laurie, you mentioned a professor? Professor Caldwell. Yes, uh, I'm his assistant. Or was, I guess. He said he'd turn me in unless I could get the urn back, and now... Wait, you're the assistant to the head of the Grand National? It's mostly just making coffee. I bet it is. I've never met a more unpleasant, condescending, short-sighted, overbearing, loathsome excuse for a human being in my life. And yes, Z, that is me saying that. This changes things somewhat. If he sanctioned your actions in all of this... He needs to pay for it. Agreed. And also, you're not that loathsome, babe. Love you too. But but he's untouchable. He's the head of the Grand National. Possession is nine-tenths of the law, and he possesses everything. Speaking of possession... Y- yes? Laurie, didn't you also mention something about a stolen painting? Um, one of the missing Matisse's, or at least it looks like it, it's in Caldwell's office. It's not a big deal. I don't know why I mentioned it. Not a big deal? The art community has registered those paintings as missing since they were looted in the 1940s. It is very much a big deal. I second that. And as an experienced and unrepentant thief, I do, of course, embrace the concept of stealers keepers. But I know a couple of lawyers who might take a different perspective. Oh, that's proper Moriarty shit. I am rather good, aren't I? Hey, guys. I finished fitting the spare tire, so if you're all done with saving the world for today, I'd be honored to give you a lift back to Lima. Diego, mijo, you're an angel. All right, team, that's a wrap. This is incredible. I wonder where she gets her ideas from. Where indeed? Who'd have thought Kevin would have become such a muse to you? (laughs) Tell me about it. Here, I made some cocoa to celebrate the reopening. And your new job. I'm honestly still reeling from it. An agent for the Art Looting Investigation Unit. Think you'll have to slap some handcuffs on me before long. If you insist, my beautiful, artistically ingenious girlfriend, I still can't believe we're dating after all I put you through. One day at a time, Laurie. One day at a time. The gallery showing seems to be going well. Takumi! You got our invitation! I wouldn't miss this for the world. The first showing of rising star Arizona James's own original work at our aunt's gallery? Besides... Miles and Phoenix were begging me to bring them. Incredible! Look at the brushwork, Phoenix! Just look at it! Yeah, it's good! So, the long distance thing is working well. Oh, absolutely. Besides, I've had plenty of photos to send them. Between Dr. Storm's expertise, Danny's way with tools, and Naya's data wizardry, about the only job left on the digs has been the photography. Well, that and sweet talking the odd objectionable official. You never change, do you, Takumi? <laughs> Whereas you have changed unrecognizably, Lori. You look happy. I'm glad that Caldwell business came to a satisfactory conclusion, for all our sakes. You're not the only one. Shocking, though, that such a prestigious member of the antiquities community should have profited from the access looting. I can't imagine the bravery of the whistleblower. Oh, you're quite right. And, you know... I hear the police suspects that the earned theft was an inside job, apparently, 
Some police inspector heard the professor browbeating his assistant about it, not long after the disappearance. Oh, stop it, you two. It was nice of Inspector Scott to step in and back up my, uh, I mean, the anonymous informant story. I really am very grateful to you all. Ari! Laurie! Takumi! Ah, uh, here comes the cavalry. Hi, Danny! Hey, Naya! Hey, Dr. Storm! How's life been treating you in... Cambodia, was it? Oh, perfectly marvellous! In fact, I found something very curious in the statuaries of Phnom Penh. Uh, if I'm right, it far predates our previous theories on the origins of human culture. Y- you're familiar with the legend of Atlantis. Oh, Viv, stop. You'll talk her ear off. Hey, Ari. Oh, you're right. Perhaps a story for another time. Vivian, did you just wink at me? Oh, no, dear. At our audience. Sorry, Ari. I think she caught some sunstroke out in the field. Apologies for being late, too. It took some work to persuade airport security that the latest addition to Danny's rock collection didn't count as a dangerous weapon. They called it a stalagmite. A stalagmite! It's clearly a stalactite. (laughs) It's good to see you again, all of you. It's kind of been lonely since Aunt Z went on honeymoon. Wait, did she in Senor Auditory, like, get... Oh, no! Auntie has always said that marriage is a defunct capitalist institution. But she didn't see any reason to turn down a beach holiday with Emilio. And his nonna. Apparently she runs the family business from there. Sicily, no less. Oh, hey guys. Just woke up. On the right side of a nest, I hope. You and me both. Oh gosh, there's so many people here. Are they really all here to see paintings of me? Well, amongst other things, there's also some work based on the garden here, and the carp forest near Lima, and a few broader influences. From London to Alexandria? Exactly. It's magnificent, Ari. You've done yourself proud. Now, I'm, I'm afraid I caught a touch of the sun. Told you so. So I didn't have time to read much about your exhibition online. But tell me, what is the theme? Tell them, Ari. Everyone, listen up. I won't keep you long. I would just like a moment to thank you all for being here. I would like to thank my friends for showing up. Go, Ari! Quiet! And I would like to thank my aunt Zayanya and her friend, Emilio Auditore, who can't be here, but who always believed in me. You see, this exhibition isn't just a place for me to display my paintings. This is a new beginning. This is where my heart is. This exhibition represents the thing I always feared to return to and the thing I realised we all need sooner or later. This is home. Coming effect of red wool on birds, 
in that last verse that I only got Laura. Laurie! Say my name. Fine. I didn't just get Laurie to make me tea. There was that whole important job, Richie. They. Yes, they. Failed at to liberate the urn from my museum in order to... Stealing is a crime. Stealing is a crime. Still counts if the artifact is in your care. Does it though? I will ask my lawyer. Don't you dare! Don't forget that elusive painting. It's not fair. Stealing is a crime. Just listen to me, please. You don't have to do this. I can account for all of the artifacts in the museum and my office. Just let me explain. Stealing is a crime. Stealing is a crime. It still counts if the artifact is centuries old. Never mind if it's copper, pottery, wood or gold. Don't forget this important lesson you've been told. Stealing is a crime. Are you sure, though? You see... Stealing is a crime. But what if... Stealing is a Look, Z, in Kevin's defence, they are called Fabergé eggs. Nesting instincts, you know. So shiny, so much sparkle. No, Amelia, I will not come back to bed. I leave this reprobate alone for me days, and they already need bailing out. What the? No, Senor, don't you dare hang up the phone.